When you have a really painful Achilles tendon, you may think that I'm crazy for suggesting that you should do exercises to help your pain. Because it's natural for somebody to think that, uh, wait a second, should my pain not first calm down and then I can start rehab? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain why keeping your Achilles tendon too still can actually make things feel worse and why doing gentle movements, I nearly don't want to call them exercises because they're so gentle, can help improve your pain and actually speed up your recovery. So what we'll talk about is how gentle exercise can help your Achilles tendon recover and decrease your pain. Then I'll demonstrate three different movements because it's very important that the exercises you do should actually suit your condition or your situation. So it'll give you a choice for what's best for you. And then thirdly, I'll mention exercises that you definitely don't want to do if your Achilles is still very, very painful um, and why that is. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mareka. I'm one of the physiotherapists from TreatMyAchilles.com, where you can get online physiotherapy assessment as well as treatment of any type of Achilles injury. Have a look at the description of this video if you want a link to our website. Okay, so why am I telling you to do exercises when you've got a really, really painful tendon? Well, first of all, it can improve your circulation. And if you get improved circulation, it can decrease your pain, decrease the stiffness and actually improve healing because you can get lots more of your um, nutrients and everything to the tendon that it needs. When you've got Achilles tendonitis, that part of the tendon um, the process in that tendon causes it to produce more fluid. So that's what makes it feel so stiff. And it also produces chemicals as, as part of that process. And the chemicals, if they accumulate, can really sensitize your nerve endings and make your pain feel worse. So that's also why if you've sat, sat still for a long period of time or you wake up first thing in the morning, oh, the Achilles can feel so much worse than if you move a little bit. Because as soon as you move a little bit, the fluid and everything dissipates and your circulation increases and your pain decreases and everything feels more comfortable. Secondly, these exercises can help with your recovery and decrease your pain because they can make you less worried about movement and get you used to it. How does this work? How does this help your recovery? Well, there's strong evidence out there that shows that the level of pain we experience is disproportionate often to the level of the injury. What that means is you can either feel more intense pain for the amount of tissue damage you've got, or you can feel a lot less pain than what you should be feeling according to how much tissue damage you've got. And there is evidence to show that if you're really worried about movement or think, oh, my tendon is so painful, I don't want to move because it's going to make it feel worse, that can actually make your pain feel worse in the long run. Also, it will stop you from doing the rehab exercise that will actually get your, your tendon better. So getting over the fear of movement is really, really important. And the nice thing about these movements I'm gonna show you is that you can do them in any position and you should choose a position that you feel comfortable and safe with. That's the best place to start. You do not have to push into pain and you do not have to do more repetitions than what you feel comfortable with. The key to overcoming the fear of movement is choosing something that you feel comfortable with, safe with, and just makes you slightly worried, but not terrified or really worried. The first exercise that can be really useful for painful tendons is if you actually do the do heel raises in sitting. So what you do is you're just sat in a chair, you're supported to a point where you feel comfortable, and you're just gonna go up and down on your toes gently. Now, if you're gonna have your feet under the chair, can you see that it makes quite a severe angle there and that can cause it to stretch and that can sometimes feel uncomfortable. So rather have your feet slightly further forwards so that you either have a 90 degree angle or even further forwards if it's uncomfortable. Um, and all you do is you go up nice and gently, slowly and very slowly back down. Okay, of course you can do them faster than this. The only thing is if you concentrate on slowing the movement down as you lower it down, that actually helps with the connection between your foot and your brain. And that's been shown to be a little bit more beneficial sometimes. Now, if it's uncomfortable to go all the way up, stop the movement short of that. Go to where it doesn't pinch and doesn't feel uncomfortable. Also, if it feels uncomfortable to go all the way down, fold up a towel or use or do these with shoes on. You don't have to do them bare feet. And just place it underneath the heels so they don't go fully, fully straight. So make it 
so it's really comfortable for you and you will find if you move it enough in this range you can eventually get them flat onto the floor you can usually do between 10 to 20 repetitions rest a minute or so repeat that two to three times if somebody has a really really painful tendon i would often start them off with only five repetitions and do that several times throughout the day and then as they get used to the movement and the tendon pain feels better um, they can start increasing it until they can get to three sets of 20 repetitions of those you will likely also benefit from watching some of the other videos we've made about um, how the right type of shoes or putting heel inserts that lift your heel slightly into your shoes can really help decrease your pain when you've got a painful Achilles tendon. So I'll put links to those videos in the description of this one if you want to know more about that. Now the second exercise I find really, really good for somebody with a painful tendon is doing double leg heel raises and holding on to something for support. Now I'm doing it in bare feet so that you can see what I'm doing, but do not do them in bare feet if you're on a hard surface because that will actually, that can cause an injury under the front of your foot. So either do them on really soft surface if you're going to do them in, in bare feet or wear shoes for this exercise. So all you do is you go up on your toes and slowly back down. So we're going up on the toes and we're not turning our feet in or out. You're going straight up and down. So you're carrying your weight middle of the foot. So we're not doing that movement. And if it hurts to go all the way flat, you just again place a towel underneath the back of your heels or you can do it with your shoes on usually between 10 to 20 repetitions rest a minute repeat that three times if somebody's new to this exercise I may even start with them with five repetitions depending on how uncomfortable they their Achilles is feeling but make it so that it's comfortable for you so don't force it all the way up if that's uncomfortable and don't drop all the way down if that's uncomfortable. The last exercise that you can do for pain is isometrics. Now, they can either be done on two legs or on a single leg. And isometrics just means that you're going into the position and you hold the position. We're not going all the way up. You're only lifting about a quarter or halfway up and you hold that position. But like I said, you can also hold it on a single leg that you're just holding it on the injured side. And you can hold it for short periods of time, like 10 second holds, or even up to a minute sometimes. It all depends on your situation. Some people even find that it helps to do it with extra weight on it. But please don't jump in with that if you've got a super, super painful tendon and you've not spoken to a physio, because it's usually more your top level athletes or people who are really well trained who can handle that type of weight. Um, your physio may also get you to do it in different positions. So over the side of a step, or um, yeah, there's different ways to do it in, and it all depends on your situation. Now, the exercise that you want to avoid when you have a really, really painful tendon is a calf stretch or an Achilles stretch, any stretch that takes the ankle into dorsiflexion. Now, this is a quite common exercise that people start doing when their tendon feels stiff, because naturally you think, ah, my tendon feels stiff and sore, I need to stretch it out. But with Achilles tendonitis, that stiffness is due to the fluid accumulation. It's not something that can be stretched out. And when the tendon is irritated, stretching it brings it closer to the bone and it compresses it closer to the heel bone. And that's like pressing on a bruise. And that can actually make it feel worse. And often it feels really, really good while you're doing it. But then it has a delayed pain response that several hours later it feels worse after. Now, this will not be the case for everybody. Some people will find that it's useful. But especially if you've got insertional Achilles tendonitis, stretching is not something we will advise you do during the early stages of your recovery. Of course, later on, you'll get back to it because it's not a bad exercise. It's just not useful during the early stages. It can be done later on. Brilliant. Hope you found that useful. Now, remember, if you need more help with an injury, you're welcome to consult one of the team via video call. The link to our website is in the description of this video. Take care.